Hello YouTube, thank you for stopping by. As always, please remember to leave me a comment, be sure to click like if you actually enjoyed the video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you'll get notifications when I post my next video. Alrighty then. In this video, I wanted to document how to safely discharge the electrical current buildup or charge stored in a TV tube, computer display monitor, or CRT, cathode ray tube. I recently demonstrated these techniques at work to some technicians who never had to deal with scrapping one of these huge vacuum tubes, and they were about to use some methods being promoted on YouTube that showed techniques which I consider potentially dangerous. Anyways. Last week I bought a new flat panel TV for the guest room over at my mom's house and I'm now going to be taking that old CRT style TV over to the recycling center. However, before I do that, I figured that this would be a good opportunity to show people how I go about discharging the electrical current from the display tube as well as showing you all what I was taught as being the correct way to release the vacuum. It's much safer than a lot of the methods being shown in other videos. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get to it. All right, so the TV's been turned on for a while, so it's uh, the CRT is charged. So we're going to go ahead and power it off and uh, start taking it apart. And I'll show how to discharge and then release the vacuum. So when it comes to discharging this tube, you've got this flyback transformer. These can get really big depending on the size of your monitor, which takes your wall current, kicks it up to something like 25,000 volts or more, depending on the size of your monitor, and it feeds it into this, uh, I think this is the camera, I don't really remember, it doesn't really matter. You've got a metal connection under here that this clips into, and that charges this, this monitor. Now over time, most monitors will slowly discharge this uh, to ground. Um, you've got a couple different ways. There's a, um, a, 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 re, uh, a discharge line that feeds through a uh, resistor uh, as well as one that comes back here from the yoke which in turn bleeds into this uh, ground strap. Now this, this tube, you can see the color here, this tube is painted with a electrically conductive paint so that it can absorb static electricity and discharge it through this line. Um, and it also has uh, some copper wiring that helps dissipate um, electromagnetic fields that build up. And what I like to do to discharge the tube is to short out this cable, this connection, directly to ground. And oftentimes, when it's got a, a good charge, you can actually hear uh, a, a zap when it uh, when it discharges. So if we're lucky, we'll uh, we'll hear something. Here. So I take a couple old screwdrivers that I don't really care too much about. Place one underneath the uh, the ground strap here, and the other one. I get right in onto this connector, and then I bring the two together. So now if you listen carefully, now you can just barely hear it. There's a little, a little, little bit of a jolt, but it's discharged now, so we can take this off.
There we go. Now you can go one step further and touch those clips. You can just see them here to this uh, ground, grounded paint or to the ground strap. So anyway, that's all there is to discharging the, uh, the voltage that has uh, the charge that is built up inside a CRT. It's pretty simple. Now, the next step that you typically want to do is to release the vacuum that's inside. Because if a tube gets damaged, it's actually a pretty high amount of vacuum. Um, you get what's called an implosion, uh, where it gets sucked into itself. Now, it's strong enough of an implosion that shards of glass, after collapsing in on itself, will continue out in the same direction that they were impelled. Um, so an implosion is something to avoid, which is why you typically want to release the vacuum. Now there's a couple different ways of doing this. One that is very popular, but in my opinion isn't the safest method. And then there's the uh, industry standard method that for whatever reason a lot of people don't really know about. So the, the common method, which I dislike, is where people will take the, uh, the end of the yoke. Well, I'd have to, this has been sealed on. But they'll take the protective cover off the end of the yoke and shatter the glass that's underneath this nipple. This is where the vacuum is actually pulled from during the manufacturing process. And while it's under vacuum, they heat up and seal this uh, bit of glass. Now, it has this protective cover on it because it's very thin. Since it's very thin, it's easy to break, and that's probably why this method is so popular. But if you take a look on other uh, YouTube videos, you'll see when people take a pair of pliers and snap this, that there are little shards, little shards of glass that go flying. Um, not a good idea. Now, this metal fitting down here that this uh, <coughs> flyback transformer was connected to is actually a fairly thick piece of glass. It's the thickest glass on the back of this monitor, the thickest being the, the view screen itself. Um, and that's very hard to, to break if you ever try to break one. But this is reinforced to support this, this metal collar. Uh, the metal collar is actually quite, quite big, and it's surrounded by thick glass. The industry standard method of removing the vacuum is to take a small uh, ice pick or a nail and puncture this thin piece of metal. And that's what we're going to do now. So you can use a decent nail or an ice pick. And all you have to do is place it in this position, tap it with a hammer, and then the vacuum will be released. So here we go. Now if you listen carefully, you'll hear that vacuum. You hear that? There's a lot of vacuum in there, a lot of negative pressure. So it's really important that that gets released properly. Here it's still going. But while that's going, we can continue. So before turning this into recycle, I want to salvage a few pieces from it. I want to collect some copper. The um, field coil here on the yoke, or deflection coil, I think it's the, I think it's the deflector. Uh, 
Anyways, this has some pretty decent amounts of copper. I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to take some of these wires and I'm going to grab these uh, uh, wires around the, the tube as well. Uh, in a future project, I want to melt that stuff down and maybe do some casting. All right, so let's salvage some wire. So I'm just going to button this thing back up and we'll take it to electronic recycle here so I can get rid of it without having to pay a disposal fee. Anyway, so that's, that's it for this video. Um, I just wanted to show you the, uh, the way that I discharge the, uh, the stored voltage in these tubes as well as how to safely, truly safely, release the vacuum. Don't go busting this. You're, ask, you're just asking for problems. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.